interesting fact about eating healthy is that we know what to eat. We know what to do. But why are we not doing what we know we have to do? This is the question here. Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm the founder of Mindfulness, the place where we talk about how to heal our relationship with food, our body and ultimately ourselves so that we can have that amazing life that we are all looking for. And in this video, I am going to talk about the top five mistakes that people do to stick to eating healthy. I get asked all the time, what am I supposed to eat? What is actually healthy? And I always ask the back, what do you think is healthy as a healthy diet? And people usually really tell me exactly what is healthy. So what I understand, it's not the question of what to eat. However, I understand it can be very, very confusing. So I did a video prior to that about what to eat and how much to eat so that you can lose weight without counting calories. So just have a look there. Otherwise, for more information, I have actually a book called the Balance Diet Book where I am explaining exactly what to eat, how much to eat, when to eat, so that you can keep your blood sugar level even stable so that you can lose weight without going on another diet so that you can stop craving food all the time and stop binge eating and overeating because it is often a consequence of restricting not eating enough not having enough nutrients in our body so the link is below download that book and enjoy So mistake number one is cutting out entire food groups. So what I mean by that is cutting out fats. So no fats, no um, carbs or no sugar at all. The thing is, it's not sustainable. We can't sustain not having carbs at all because we're going to crave them. The more we're telling ourselves not to have it, the more we will want that. So just save yourself that trouble and problem. Don't cut any food groups out. Carbs are not evil. Sugar is not evil. It's the type of sugar. It's the type of carbohydrates that you choose. So choose good carbohydrates in form of vegetables, in form of whole grains, and you will see you will have lots of lots of energy. The same with sugar. Sugar is not evil. It's about how much you have. If you have a tiny little piece of chocolate or a slice in between, your body is amazing. It will be able to actually really digest sugar without adding any body fat to your to your body. Mistake number two is the black and white mentality. So that's what we want to be perfect. Girl, you are never ever going to be perfect. Just sorry for that reality check, but you're not. We can't be perfect all the time. We are not going to be able to go to the gym six times a week and never have sugar and never have carbs and just be that perfect, perfect girl that we see on Instagram. It's not going to work. So when we set those goals to have, um, as I said, to never have sugar or to go to the gym all the time, then we are setting ourselves for failure because we can't maintain it. It is too much, too much pressure. And then when then there is this weak moment when you're tired and had a long stressful day or when <sighs> just shit happens in life, right? And then you say, you know what? I just want to have a piece of chocolate. And then after one piece or one one after one biscuit, you end up with a whole bar of chocolate or a whole package of biscuits. That's because you had that black and white mentality. So all in or nothing. And just just save that problem to yourself and don't don't do it. So when you next time when you think that you fell off the wagon, remember that there is no wagon to fall off. Our diet is always one decision at a time, one meal at a time. If you had one biscuit or two or three or four, so what? Just have a healthy meal with the next meal. That's all you need to do. You don't need to continue after you had the three biscuits. You continue with healthy diet 
and just go back to the goals that you had before. Not a problem. So my tip, top tip is be flexible. If you made a decision to have biscuits, make another decision next time. If you made a poor decision and don't want to continue, learn from it. Just ask yourself, what can I do differently next time and do it. That's it. Mistake number three is not understanding the mindset psychology. And I love it. It is all about the mindset. It is all, it all starts with the mindset. So our mistake is often not to have a clear vision, not to have a clear reason why we want to change something. If we don't know why, well, because it feels good, it would be nice to lose weight, it would be nice to eat healthy, this is not a good enough reason. You will give in when times get tough. So you need to know exactly why you want that and you want to have a clear vision how your life is going to look like, how it is going to be different, what are you going to be doing differently, how are you going to feel when you have when you are achieving those goals. So as an example, if you want to eat better, then ask yourself the following. What is going to be different then? How am I going to feel when I eat better? Well, I will have more energy. I will teach my kids to eat better. I will teach my kids what is actually healthy. I will be going out and doing, be, will be able to do tramping and walking and spending uh, time with friends and family because I will not be scared of food anymore. So you see, the more detailed you become, the more you can actually really feel it right in your heart and then you will be able to maintain, to stick to your goals. So my top 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 tip because i had a top tip before is visualization i love 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 visualization i will i will do another video on that one visualization has changed my life so you really want to take your time in the morning if you have it otherwise whenever when you go to bed and really visualize yourself you're going to be walking you're going to be tramping you're going to be feeling great you're going to be wearing all these beautiful clothes because you will feel confident and beautiful and maybe colorful clothes so the more detail you can see the more motivated you're going to feel and the more you're going to be maintaining those new habits that you're developing mistake number four is setting not realistic goals like for example doing something all the time healthy all the time exercising all the time that's not gonna work so my tip is set yourself very tiny tiny little tiny goals like for example have maximum two takeaway meals a week and the rest is home cooked meal another goal could be um, having breakfast every morning or having at least one meal with vegetables every day. So as you see, you want to have small goals, realistic goals and goals that you can maintain and that are easy to follow as well. And I also like to talk about trigger goals. What are trigger goals? Trigger goals are um, little goals that you are doing on the way to the actual goal. So an example, if you want to eat more home cooked meals, so instead of saying to yourself, I'm going to have more home cooked meals, you want to say, okay, to get there, what do I want? Well, trigger goal is, first of all, I need to make a plan. What am I going to cook? So first you only focus on making a plan what you're going to cook. Another one is, well, I will need to go and get my groceries on a Sunday. Another one is, I will need to prepare food in advance. If all this thing, all these things are done, you're most likely going to be achieving that goal that you're actually looking for. So trigger goals. Yeah, we haven't really got to eating home cooked meals yet, but we have achieved these little things and it feels amazing. Progress equals happiness. Tony Robbins, my guru, as you know, says 
ha progress equals happiness because we want to focus on making progress every day and then we feel good then we feel more confident and we feel like we can actually make it rather than focusing on that huge goal that is overwhelming that is scary and we're not gonna do it we're not gonna do it because it feels overwhelming it feels like there's just so much to do before and that's how procrastination starts and my tip in terms of setting goals is set yourself exciting goals not boring goals not i need to go to the gym five times a week that's boring that's not exciting that's not interesting at all but really exciting goals like i want to be able to lift heavier weight because every time i actually track it down i can see that i've had a progress progress equals happiness right so think about that and exciting goals are well I want to try different recipes I want to try new recipes and try different meals try for example different vegetables maybe one new vegetable a week or one fruit a week and just get real excited about those things Mistake number five is focusing on the end result rather than on the progress I did mention it before, um, I was not supposed to, but anyway, <laughs> let's focus on it right now. When it comes to eating healthy, there is probably never going to be an end result. Well, how? Because it's a constant progress, it's constant work. It is one decision at a time, one meal at a time. So as I mentioned earlier, end result can be very overwhelming and it can be quite scary. So let's focus on these little things that I mentioned before, setting small goals, focusing on progress and focusing on how you're going to feel instead of, well, I'm going to lose weight. That's not exciting. So feel in you are going to stay motivated so your why is connected to your emotions and your feelings that's what's exciting not a number on a scale number on a scale is real scary so if you want to have more tips as i mentioned earlier download my book the link is below where i'm telling you exactly how to eat what to eat what to do when and how and why as well so i'm teaching you really tiny little tips there um, how to get started and how to stay motivated without getting overwhelmed and without dieting and restricting because I hate that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did like, give me a thumb up because it will make me happy. And subscribe to the channel so that we can share this love together. And I hope to talk to you very soon again.